tonight we are going to take a look at Shattered Glass Blur. Wait. Hold on, Rance. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I pr I promised to glove up. I'm going to I'm going to keep my promise. I promised that at least one video you would not have to see the nastiness of how messed up my hands are. So, that's better, right? Right? It's one of those ASMR videos. Ooh. Shattered glass blur. So, first things first, this is the Studio 86 blur with a different paint scheme and a new head sculpt. The new head sculpt is outstanding. You got the eye patch with the scratches. Paint is awesome. It's got a little meh right there in the paint, but I don't care that much. It's in this deep, deep blue with uh, two different shades of blue with some black. Uh, the weapons are in gray like a very light gray with a little bit of chrome and the uh windshield being this yellow this transparent yellow the autobot symbol now the thing i wonder is i wonder if the autobot symbol is the right color in there but it looks weird under the yellow i don't know but at least it's there um, it's also not in the same place it is as it is in the original Studio 86 Blur, which we will pull him out in a second. Um, so you can get a little bit of the cool paint job that they have on him in the back. And he's got good articulation. He's got all the standard articulation. I mean, he can do all the things. He can rotate. He's got weapons that go over his hands, go in his hands. His hands kind of rotate, but they're attached to these kind of these pieces here so if you want them to rotate they have to go along with it yeah but he's got good posability he stands very well um so let's take a look at him next to some of his counterparts so uh, let me get him standing just kind of chill like to fit as many of these in the in the frame as possible so first let's put him out with studio 86 blur uh, the two things you will notice the most is the color scheme and that face that we will go over in his video. So there's immediately you can see the difference in the color and then they have the different head. Same weapons. Um, everything's the same except for the color, the paint, and the heads. Uh, so let's take a look at another blur. So I also happen to have the Titans Returns Blur. And actually, I really like the Titans Returns Blur. Um, he does a lot of the same things. He's got the same, the engine sticking out of his shoulders. Um, kind of sort of the same details in the face, except he's a headmaster, obviously. The cockpit's on the front. He's got the nose cone hanging off the back. Nose cone hanging off the back. Nose cone hanging off the back. The fold up back part of his arm, fold up back part of his arm. Hey, get up there. Fold up back part of his arm. Transformations are nowhere near the same, but I just like when I have a older version of a figure. If I had a G1, uh, I'd put that out here. But I actually saw a G1 blur the other day somewhere I was at, and um, it looked... Wow, I remember that being a better looking figure. Um, so there he is with other blurs in robot mode. Um, so, I mean, if you're going to have Shattered Glass Blur, you've got to have the other Shattered Glass Autobots. Uh, the ones that are out now, anyway. Um, I have not received... I don't have Shattered Glass Starscream or Megatron or any of those yet. Uh, they're all ordered, but who knows when they'll show up the way things are going. But I do have these guys, and they are awesome, and they, looked, they look amazing together uh, with, with him. The I, I really enjoy the way this shattered glass shelf is going to look, um, especially when I have a 
uh, a shelf that's going to be dedicated to the uh, 86 movie with uh, a regular Optimus, a dead Optimus, um, Hot Rod, Rodimus, e you know, everybody, RC, everybody's going to be on that shelf. And it's going to look really cool seeing the the uh, original movie cast on, on a shelf right above or maybe below the Shattered Glass shelf. It's going to look pretty cool. So... Uh, let's get him transformed and take a look. All right, so now we have Shattered Glass Blur in his vehicle mode. And as you'll see, it's the exact same vehicle. You still have the tail fin back here in the little passenger seat. Uh, and the main thing that you will notice that is different is this awesome blue electric uh, paint that goes across the front of the nose. That looks fantastic. Um... As you know, to do a Series 86, this mold does not have wheels on the bottom, so it just kind of, you pretend, I guess, that it's a hovercraft. Um, I, lo I, love the, I love the use of the blue and the black, and the, of course the paint job. The silver section right here looks really good. Uh, overall, I love the mold. Enough that I own two of him. I mean, so you can see the difference in the paint. He's got this more blue, kind of, I don't know. I don't know what you call that paint job, but it's got more just kind of stripey blue on the front of it. And whereas he's got, you know, all the electrical, um, the windshield being red or uh, yellow windshield on this one's clear with the Autobot symbol and the, on the outside, that one's on the inside. Cool little touch. Some side by sides. see and then uh, you can also compare him to the um, Titans Returns version uh, which obviously does have wheels you can hear them rolls really well little teeny tiny wheels on the bottom um, cockpit with his headmaster in there and uh, yeah if you're if you're gonna be looking at a shattered glass figure you have to bring in his compatriots you can get these out of the way more scoot this back uh, which, that, that's just a gnarly sight. That is a gnarly, gnarly sight to see coming at you. So, that's the vehicle mode. Let's transform him back and see what we think. Alright, so, my final thoughts on the Shattered Glass Blur. Uh, if you can pick him up, definitely do. He's a really cool little figure. Now, I, I feel like he's a little bit... He just feels kind of loose. Like, I'm going to have to use some of that, the, the joint compound stuff to for him. Because it's not that I don't think he'll stand. It's just I think he's going to suffer some of the problems I have with some of my other figures where they sit in a display case. And after a couple years, you go to pick one of them up. And it's as soon as you move the ball joints, they're floppy. And I have a feeling he's going to flop out pretty bad, too. Um Overall, I think he's a really cool figure. If you're into the Shattered Glass, you definitely need this one. Um, I got the Hasbro version with the comic book, and I really like the comic book. It was pretty cool. Um, I know that there's ways of getting these sooner without the comic book, I think from Japan or China or somewhere. Uh, if you can do that and you don't care about the comic book, yeah, do that. But I definitely recommend everybody get these figures. These Shattered Glass figures are awesome. Uh, even if you're not into the comic books, they're just really cool reimaginings. And I think everybody really... Would enjoy them. So, um, there you go, Raz. I wore gloves. See? This is what my hands go through. So, I'm going to take these off now. Ugh. Whatever. Um, yeah, so don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, uh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And I will see you all at TFCon. Later.